Peekaboo and Whiskey, or will they do the same strategy as before? Welcome, everybody, to the grand finals. The Gosu crew once again go head to head with Method Orange, top point earners looking to assert dominance in the North American region, securing their top seed for BlizzCon, increasing their opportunity and likely to win that tournament, which they've been working all year towards. This is going to be an epic show. Have to see Mezzatril gonna be looking for those mana rifts onto Absurge. There's the stun, double mana if he gets gripped out. WizK and Absurge they have to rotate their trinkets as well as that life grip in order to extend Absurge's mana as long as possible. All right, good utility from WizK early on. Sidu, once again, it's up to Peekaboo. He is the one that has to take Sidu down almost by himself, especially with this double reverse magic. Everything is on his shoulders offensively. Everything is on Abster's shoulders defensively to somehow heal through a game with absolutely zero mana. I'm really curious to see if they can get any cross crowd control going with the Psychic Screams on the Demon Hunters. I'd like to see Shadow Step stun Sidu, Psychic Scream both Demon Hunters. That could be a nice way to execute on isolating Sidu which is likely the most vulnerable target for the Gosu crew. In the meantime, Method Orange going after WizK, just trying to pressure him, slowly run Absurge out of mana, as it is likely that both teams need a bit of dampening to secure any kills. Sidu uses Trinket to get out of blind to assist his teammates. Now he doesn't have Trinket to save himself, and he, as being the most vulnerable target, that's an opening that Peekaboo can exploit. Yeah, Trill and Mez are going to be staggering their metamorphosis. I think it's very intelligent. They've created scary moments throughout the game. There's a stun on Absurd. We can expect his mana. He's going to get chunked down there. Just about 60% right now. And as the game goes on, Mez and Trill, they're going to consistently land that mana rift to reduce his incoming mana. This game, it seems like Mez and Trill have had a lot more pressure on the WizK. It's nice. Absurd actually has to expend a lot more mana. And the WizK is a lot more pressured. And, but he doesn't seem to mind just pushing in. Gets the Quaking Palm Fear on the CD. Mez could be in a little trouble. But this is the amount of self feeling that Mez and Trill have. I, I don't feel like they're really going to go down in this matchup. Yeah, the demonic build with soul rending in Battle for Azeroth is so much more powerful with the reduced cooldown on I Beam that Mez and Trill can basically self-sustain through the damage of the Gosu crew, even with Sidu in crowd control, which is why I say it's unlikely that anyone other than Sidu goes down in this fight. So Sidu just needs to be ready for that, and the team needs to support him during those moments. Extend the game till they run Absurge out of mana. Extend the game into deep dam deep dampening and win the late game. It's all up to Method Orange to extend the match right now. Good crowd control on Sidu. No reverse magic. There's a window of opportunity. They managed to pull at least Astral Shift from Sidu. They really need to try and get Darknesses, but with Sidu's Earth and Wall Totem, I don't see any kills happening. We see Peekaboo's Vendetta available. There's actually an opening here with Kidney Shot on Sidu. if Peekaboo can do it in the next 25 seconds. I want to see a double psychic scream on this setup. They've got Vendetta. They pulled the trigger, but there's no crowd control. Triple fear. Nice oh. play by the Ghost no. crew. Wow. As he trinketed out to drop the darkness, and he got feared on it by WizK. That was a beautiful setup. It was, if Mez, if Mez just dropped the darkness, he would have survived, but orange to extend the match just that little bit longer they've come really close to making it to the late game where they're favored but they have to execute it they can't get caught off guard or get dismantled by the gosu crew before they get to that critical mass point it just comes down to making small mistakes getting overzealous looking to close out the game earlier than you need to if they just play it safe they rotate properly they really feel like method orange they have a winning composition here but the gosu crew so far has really been able to exploit that all right blind on sidu How's it gonna, normally you wanna trinket this as a healer, but because you're likely to kill targets, it's super risky to do it. So he's opting not to. I think that was the right decision. Mez looked perfectly fine. Now we see Method Orange swinging back with a triple stun. Reverse magic on silence. No overlap. Good play there between Mez and Trill. Now they'll have that second reverse magic to rely on to deny the next upcoming silence. So it's up to crowd controlling Mez. They need to use the Earth Grab Totem on Mez or Psychic Scream. That way he can't get Sidu out of the silence. Peekaboo just gunning down Sidu as would be expected for the rest of this match. Absturge in prison, double mana burn. Actually misses there. I'm not sure if that was a mistake, but it's going to cost him a mana rift, and that's super unfortunate because that's basically all Mez and Trill have to do offensively. They could do zero damage. All they have to do is land every mana rift on Absturge until dampening, then start doing damage. So I want to see them focus up. Method Orange need to get this together. Yeah, want to see the fell stuns onto him so they can get that mana rift. There's a stun. Let's see if his mana goes down. They land it. There it is. 
See you in a little bit of trouble though into the kidney shot. Darkness is gonna get dropped out there by Trill. They don't want to mess around with this vendetta. WizK actually already using his dispersion as well. I didn't notice that. So there is an opening here for Method Orange if they want to look to get aggressive on WizK. Yeah. And this time Mez and Troll are rotating their reverse magics to support Sidu, but Peekaboo is doing a lot more damage in this situation. They do catch him behind the pillar. Peekaboo opts to trink it out, a two for one, both aggressively and offensively, but gets denied with the imprison. Sidu actually trinketed it there as well. That is an opening. There's, there's so much damage from Peekaboo. I don't know what's going on here. He's doing a lot more damage than he was in the previous games. Sidu forced to run away behind the wall there to recover. It looks like he'd be able to. Trill and Mez forced to switch back and push Peekaboo away. Mana still in favor of Sidu, obviously. Another Swap to Sidu. Trill and Mez supporting him. Just crowd controlling Peekaboo anytime. Reverse magic. Nicely done there by Method Orange. It's looking good to extend this so far. They've made it halfway. Just a little bit longer. Yeah, Mez and Trill, they can basically infinitely rotate that reverse magic on the silence. So WizK never gets a silence out unless they have cross crowd control on Mez and Trill, which we need to see the roots coming in from Absurge when they make these kill attempts. Peekaboo in a little bit of trouble as he moves forward. Trill and Mez have been doing a good job making sure that WizK and Peekaboo are both pressured in this situation. Absurge playing Counter-Strike Totem, so he drops that, trying to get additional damage on Mez and Trill. But they've been killing it off rel relatively quickly, so really not able to capitalize with that talent choice. Psychic Scream on Sidu as the Ghost Recruiter trying to create an opening here on Mez. Mez trades out Blur, which reduces damage during that crowd control on his healer. That's a fair trade. Now Method Orange that have recovered. They're leading to get aggressive. Double stun on Peekaboo and WizK. No crowd control on Absturds just yet, so they should unlikely get a lot of momentum off the back of this. There's Fell Eruption. Those are the purple mana rifts. Looks like they landed at them. So now Absturge is down a lot of mana. Method Orange are over the halfway point. They're so close, they just need to stay alive a bit longer. Vendetta, they need to trade Darkness. Are they going to get in position? Yes, Mez this time was able to get in position and trade Darkness. Sidu will now recover quite easily in this position. Method Orange playing... Well, actually, no, I, I take that back. Look at Reverse Magic right now, Ven. You see the cooldown, 50 seconds for both Mez and Trill. And it's a mistake when you use them at the same time. And that was an opening that we saw potentially cost them the game last time. So let's see if the Gosu crew can take that opening. Yeah, but you can see, though, Method Orange, they're using the mana riffs onto WizK over and over. They actually got his dispersion there. They've already gotten his trinket. His mana riffs are huge for doing damage as well. Could be in a little bit of trouble. There's a sap over onto Sidu. Hex on the trail. Mez could be vulnerable here. He has his trinket, but nothing really else to work with. Sidu always has the trinket link available if they really, really need it, but Mez is able to hold on. All right. Although they overlap their reverse magics, that crowd control chain just wasn't long enough with the self-sustainability of Demon Hunters to net them a kill on Mez. Now they're going to be going after Sidu once again, as he is likely the target to go down in this matchup. He trades Earthen Wall, denying any sort of pressure in this situation. It's Absurge is on the back foot, also trades his Earthen Wall. So both teams will take a bit of a pause here as damage reduction is a bit too high for either team to net a kill. Fell eruptions continue on Absurge as they look to keep burning his mana as quickly as possible. They're almost there. Dampening's about to start, and Absurge is almost Tap. So as Zico has been saying in the pregame, this is when they need to start switching their mana rifts onto WizK for extra damage and make it so that Absurd just can't recover. Yeah, there's the stun on him. Double mana rift onto WizK. A lot of bursts coming in. And WizK actually does have mana, so when they aren't using these mana rifts on him, they're preventing his power with shields as well as some of his off heals if he ever needs to use them. So I like this from Method Orange, making sure they sort of limit the he healing capabilities of both Absurd and WizK in this game as well. That's providing that extra damage damage onto WizK. All right, dampening started. Absturge is tapped. Method Orange have been playing to their win conditions. Potential huge amount of burst here for WizK. No dispersion for 17 more seconds. Tons of damage. Another fell eruption. Life grip out of the mana rift. Nice play by WizK, but he's still low on health. Mez pulls the trigger on the mana morphs. Gets Psychic screamed on it. Good cross crowd control here by the Gosu crew, but Sidu's in a perfect position. WizK can't attack him through that fence. He's trying to make his way over, but Sidu line of sights him again. He needs a reverse magic. They duck in, they don't overlap. Nice play there by Trill. Sidu now should recover. WizK is the one in trouble, dipping dangerously low. Absur deflects with an earthen wall totem of his own, but it is looking worse and worse for the Gosu crew as dampening starts to ramp up. Yeah, WizK has basically no mana at this point. Dispersion is available. Absur's mana is not looking good. 
Mezen Trill all over him. There's a stun on Absurd. He trinkets out, wants to conserve as much mana as possible. CD behind the pillar once again. Caught into the kidney shot, but it's WizK that's in trouble. He can't push in right now. He gets interrupted. This is the first time we've seen WizK play a little bit scared. Shadow Priest normally very durable, but like I said, the double Demon Hunter might be able to punish. That the Mana Rift doing percent health damage doesn't care about the Edge of Insanity. So it's doing tons of damage and putting WizK on the back foot. Sidu caught in a blind, and he doesn't want to trinket because he's usually the target that dies. So he's sitting through a long crowd control chain, and it looks like Mez is fine with that. Whiskey is moving in position to continue the chain that much longer, but it's still unlikely that they kill through the soul rending healing. Unfortunate for Mez, his metamorphosis has ended. He doesn't have that soul rending. They've still got Sidu locked in crowd control. If they can bait out a darkness before Vendetta, that would be perfect, but. Even with a 20 plus second crowd control chain, Mez isn't even phased, and the Ghost of Crew's opportunities are starting to slip away. Yeah, App Search, Mana Rift once again gets gripped away there by WizK, preserving that last little bit of mana at 14% dampening. This is going to be difficult for him to heal through this damage much longer. WizK luckily has a dispersion back up once again. Peekaboo still just trying to create as much pressure as he can. Actually lands a kidney shot on Mez. Mez has to trinket. Overlap though with the darkness of Trill, so a miscommunication there by Method Orange. Yeah, now Mez can't trinket darkness himself, and Vendetta's up. They could easily kill Mez, and Sidu's been working all game to protect himself. He might not be in the frame of mind to be prepared to protect Mez after such a long series of him being the primary kill target. I think the Ghost of Crew are going to look to exploit that. They smoke bomb Mez. Sidu moves in. He gets Psychic Scream, but he pre-tremored it. Nice play by Sidu, but he's still silent, so he needs a reverse magic. He gets that from Trill to connect the Spirit Link Totem. That was the opening that Ghost of Crew needed to find a kill. They didn't get it. We're moving into deep dampening. Absurd has no mana. Whiskey's running out of cooldowns. The Ghost the crew are running out of time. Method Orange are looking to close game two. Yeah, once his other than shield totem fades, the Ghost of Crew is going to be in a lot of trouble. Peekaboo vulnerable, Wiz Cave vulnerable as well. He has the void ship, but he gets interrupted. Still good pressure coming in from Trill and Mez. Look at Sidu's mana. It is basically completely full at this point of the game. Absurd has to trink it out, get out of that mana to preserve just a little mana. This is his ascendance as well. The last little bit of healing he has for Wiz K. If he can keep him stable, they might be able to hold on just a little bit longer. Wiz K trinkets out of the mana rift to dodge those purple circles to give his team any opportunity that he can, but I'm not sure how much longer they've got. Sidu trinkets into his silence. Is that window going to be enough? They're stun locking Mez. They need a bit more. He's got darkness. He can easily trade that out. He's trying to hold on to it, going after Whiskey. Whiskey's got nothing. After it's gotten a stun, needs that Spearling Totem likely very soon. Double stun by Method Orange. After just playing greedy, he moves in. He's not going to risk it. Trades the Spirit Link, trying to give his team any opportunity to pull off a miracle. Triple Psychic Scream. Perfect setup. Is this the miracle or another day in the office? Lightning bolts from Absurd get the what? kill. And the Gosu crew is now in the lead 2-0. What? No, Method was in both situations. Oh my God. Method crazy plays, Peekaboo managing to pull out crazy plays, and throughout all of it, Absurge just being able to weather the storm. I mean, Absurge had no mana at the end of that game. Flame Shock isn't free. He spent the last spell he could have cast it on Flame Shock, knowing that if they didn't kill Sidu there, they lost anyway. So even casting Lightning Bolts while WizK mind controlled the other opportunity to save Sidu. So Absurge was an MVP at the end of that last game, despite being behind for the entire match, being less favored as well. Method Orange did look good though, I think, with the Moonkin Demon Hunter against the Super Frog, so it's not the worst case scenario. They get good pressure at the start of this match on WizK and a nice Cyclone at low health. Method Orange are looking in a good position to start this game. I think they've realized that Mana Rift is just super effective against the Shadow Priest. WizK is in a lot of trouble. There's a full Cyclone on Absurd. He's going to be able to tank out some of this damage. And here's one of the key differences we're seeing from the Gosu crew that we didn't see from the Super Frogs is they have multiple pressure points in this matchup. Peekaboo is all over Sidu, but at the same time, he keeps his Rupture, he keeps his Groat on Samayam. WizK's dots sort of rot him down. And that way they can do these blind setups where Sam I Am's already low. He could blind up Sidu into a sap and they can get pressure all over the place. Peekaboo uh, leaving an opening for his team, trinketing a Cyclone, a bit over eager to try and kill Sidu. I don't think he was going to ultimately go down. So unless maybe they kill him in this kidney shot, if Sidu underreacts, he's caught into the stuns. Trill pulls back to assist. Good teamwork. Sidu's going to survive. 
as he's looking to retreat away. He doesn't want to be stacked up. Absurd Solar Beam, nice combo by Method Orange. Clean setup. They're trying to punish that trinket on Peekaboo. First DM down below half, forcing Absurd to trinket. Method Orange's aggression this match it has improved drastically, but they also need to survive amidst doing that. Sidu pre earthen shield totems this kidney shot. Nice read. Sam I am backs them up with a cyclone. Method Orange are looking good in game three. Yeah, they definitely are, but you can tell. Trill isn't looking for the mana rifts. Oh, there it is. Finally, mana rift over onto Absurd. His mana was just so high. Didn't seem like Trill had really landed too many. So that's maybe something he wants to focus up on moving forward. Good pressure on Peekaboo in the meantime, though. He's already used his evasion and his feint. Peekaboo could be in a lot of trouble here. Doesn't want to overextend. Runs back, puts a kidney shot onto Sam. I'm getting some pressure there, but freeing up Sidu to what? get free cast out. Huge hit on Sam. Nice mind control, low health. Shadow step kick on Sidu. Peekaboo all over Method Orange as they're trying to swing some momentum in their favor. Multiple targets are low. Sidu's trying to hold on to Ascendance. How much longer can he hold on to it? He silenced it low health. Trill saves him with reverse magic, but now into a kidney shot. They switch their attention to another target with Sam I am still rotting down to the pressure. Ascendance has been forced. Good combo here by Method Orange. Nice win shear by Sidu. Peekaboo's all alone. He burned that trinket aggressively, and it's costing his team a lot of close calls. Blind on Sidu. He wants to hold on to that trinket, doesn't want to get caught in the swap later on. There's the sap out of it. Good crowd control from the Gosu crew. Sam I am's dipping low. He's got Renewal. It's going to bounce him back up into the fight. Absurge continues the chain, although unlikely to be long enough, I think, to take Sam I am down. It looks like he's going to be recovering at this point. Peekaboo now the target once again. Need to work their way through that cloak of shadows and set up for that incarnation that Sam I am has in 14 seconds. Yes, yeah, Hugh hasn't had to use his trinket just yet in this game. I think it's smart that he's been saving it. He knows he's the most vulnerable one, so trinket and blind isn't the best trade. There's a kidney shot on Sidu now as he gets bursted down. No earthen shield totem available. Has the spirit link, has his trinket. He needs to be able to get away, but Peekaboo's still there. Whiskey as well. The entire team of Ghost Crew is kind of dogpiling him while also taking down. Sam I am, but a big swap now over on the Absurd. He trades out his Astral Shift, wants to get aggressive, doesn't want to fall behind. Peekaboo could be in some trouble. He has no defensive left. Sam I am getting some pressure done with the Incarnation, but it's Sidu in the kidney shot. Peekaboo still trying to pressure him down in this situation. That might be the Spiritling totem from Sidu. We see a Solar Beam on Absurd, double stunned by Trill, but Sidu is the one who's on the back foot. The Gosu crew have so much momentum now in the mid game with Sam I am at half health and Sidu at half health for the better part of a minute. And it's looking even more difficult for Sidu to actually completely recover. He's really trying to abuse that Ghost Wolf, trying to get maximum value. Gets caught in a kidney shot in center field in line of sight of Whiz K. The crowd control Trill to deny the reverse magic, forcing Trill to trinket. Now he can't trinket and use darkness. This is an opening that the Ghost crew, I can only imagine, see moving into the future. Well, look at this. Sam I am, no trinket, no bark skin. We have Peekaboo, he has Smoke Bomb and Vendetta. That is a kill window for the Gosu crew. They can get a nice CC chain on CD. They can force his hand and force him to trinket, especially with how far Sam I am. Look at Peekaboo, he's moving forward. He realizes there's a kill window the here. Bomb. He gets the kidney shot on him in travel form with the Smoke Bomb. Trill trying to save his life. CD trying to get there for the Spirit Link. Silence goes out. Is he going to be able to buy enough time with the bark skin and the bear form? The mind control. Nice mind control from WizK. CD is still crowd controlled. He's trying to be greedy now. He doesn't want a spirit link, but now they could switch to him with two targets low. It's looking dangerous for Method Orange here. Spirit link connects to the team. The Ghost of Crew have so much more momentum in this game. Solar Beam stun attempt. Absurge Trinkets to deny the kill. Grounds the Cyclone. Good utility by Absurge. He's trying to keep his team aggressive. Sidu with no trinket. 12 more seconds on the immunity. They don't have it. Sidu goes down. The Ghost of Crew put Method Orange on match point. And now this is just about the worst situation you can be in if you're Method Orange, because you now take the entire thing. The Gosu crew are on a storm right now, advancing heavily. I mean, they Method Orange can't even take a game off them in a matchup that we would consider them favored. So Method Orange, they need a shot caller. They need someone on the team to take the responsibility of cooldown management. Otherwise, they have situations where they panic, they overlap, they make the wrong decision. So they need to just focus up, have that shot caller, make their way through to the late game, and they could easily reverse sweep this. And yeah, nice fear coming in from WizK. He actually trinkets out very early on. It's a silence out on the C2 as well. Mez and Trill taking quite a bit of pressure, but 
I think they're going to be fine. There's the life grip from Wizk to avoid some of those early mana rifts. See you getting targeted down once again. Mez early darkness there, trying to prevent some of this incoming damage as that was the Vendetta. It's a fair trade because they can use a darkness on every Vendetta. Trill will use it on the next one. So that's the next shot call for that Vendetta window is Trill. Get on Sidu. Use the darkness when Vendetta is available. There's going to be a bit of downtime in between that Sidu needs to work with using the Astral Shift or the Urzing Wall Totem to make his way through those cooldowns. So right now it's kind of up to Sidu to keep his team going during that downtime. Pigou is obviously not going to make that easy for him. Trying to tunnel him down and aggress. Trying to keep his pressure. Wizk under a bit of fire here. Mez pulls back though to try and support of course, Peekaboo away. It's managed to scare Peekaboo away for now. They silence Sidu in a bit of a peculiar fashion. I almost think that was a bait for Reverse Magic, which actually has been dropped. Yeah. Mez and Troll are both not playing Reverse Magic, opting to get more damage, which may be what they need. There's a lot of pressure right now in their favor. Yeah, Peekaboo really has to think twice before he overextends. There's a kidney shot on Mez. Fear on to Sidu. No Reverse Magic available. Mez trinkets out. No darkness. He needs to be able to get over to Sidu. Is he the tank trinket? I think he actually is. They're, going, they're maybe, going all in on this long game strategy. They, they've been running. They have been. Yeah, yeah, okay. they have been. Next on C2, silence. Mez is still in trouble. If they have to use Darkness, okay, good shot calling there. Use Spear Link. They've got a game plan where Darkness is used during Vendetta. So they use Spear Link in the in-between time. That was an example of good cooldown management and nice shot calling. If they keep this up, they're looking to be in a good position, but they punish Mez with no trinket, catching him out of line of sight. Mez jumps out of it, barely surviving as Sidu desperately tries to recover. Yeah, but look at Trill. He uses the Darkness there to keep Mez oh, no. alive, and now that's not lined up. Peekaboo found an opening. He has, in 16 seconds, a huge Cedar opportunity to keep him down. Cedar trinketed. Now he's going to be under pressure, potentially, from Peekaboo. Now into his oh. silence. Vendetta's coming up in seven seconds. Full Hex! The Ghosts of Crew are on a rampage against Method Orange here today. If Peekaboo gets on target, almost nothing standing between their victory. Mind controlling Mez back into midfield. Cedar purges that off to get Mez desperately back on the pillar, but they earth grab him. The team synergy from the Ghosts of Crew is perfect. There's the kidney shot. Wizk moves in. He pre tremors. I think he killed the tremor totem. Nice setup here. Trill desperation stun, but that's not enough. You cannot. Not stop the Gosu crew 4 0 in Method Orange. And you know, to, just to take it a step further, we keep talking about how many teams all of the way to BlizzCon. You can see right here, all of those teams, the top three teams, based off of point qualifications, will be going all the way to the biggest tournament of the year. Yes, there is one more tournament, but it is mathematically impossible for the Rejects, Casca's Angels, the Super Rejects, the Super Whales, meet anybody to catch up to our top dogs. And the Super Frogs have, this was the hill that they needed to get over because now they have time to work on their compositions in a BlizzCon van. I think that they are going to be a threat. Well Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.